I'm joined now by Tushar Gandhi, great grandson of Mahatma Gandhi and Irfan Habib, historian. Welcome to both of you and thank you so much for speaking with us on Beyond the Headline. Mr. Gandhi, uh, let me begin with your take and uh, you know the response that has come from the NCERT top boss saying that this was an oversight that it wasn't mentioned in their official list that certain portions relating to the father of the nation's assassination were omitted. And the reason overall is to lighten the load for students after COVID-19. How do you respond to this? Uh, it's a nice uh, excuse and afterthought, uh, a nice way to try to wriggle out of a situation that is uncomfortable. Uh, it's not a genuine, or not a convincing argument at all. It's also very amusing that uh, they zero in on a particularly specific topic that is uncomfortable to the present regime under the pretext of lessening the burden of uh, the students uh, post-COVID. So uh, I think it is, uh, it, the intention is very clear and the excuses are being made are also being made in a manner to show that they're not really uh, regretting what they have done. You know, Mr. Irfan Habib, when yeah. I first saw the story, I actually wondered if omitting lines from textbooks and at the end of the day, you have to, you know, the target audience for this content will be students who will study this as part of their examinations. Will that really change history? What is the context and the impact of such kind of changes? Have they been made in the past? And can they truly alter the perception of history for future generations? As uh, just Tushar uh, pointed out, this is this is a this is part of a plan. This is not something which has happened for the first time. Look at the politics around uh, around Gandhi. Look at the politics around uh, the the killer of Mahatma Gandhi. The celebration, the 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 the, the sort of respect, which is which is uh, uh, given to God say publicly, and temples being created in his name, etc. So this is all part of that. And nobody has been questioned. All those people who are doing this openly and, and, and blatantly are, are getting away without, without being questioned by the, by the state. So, so which means that whatever you are doing today is part of that narrative. So I, I don't see that you need to give any excuse at all because it all, it's all part of a concerted plan which has been going on for the last several years. Now, when you teach students this sort of history, then you are surely going to create a generation which is intellectually emaciated, which will be totally deprived of the precious uh, past which they are supposed to know. And nothing can be as precious as, 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 as Babu's life and his assassination. If you want to get away by, by, by removing those portions, in the name of uh, uh, destining the burden, is actually uh, putting a lot of burden on the on the on the young generation. No, because you are putting a burden in a sense that they will not be aware of what actually they have uh, they have missed. No, and it, this is not going to affect just the generation. It is going to create an image of India outside uh, India. No? how are we going to look at our father of the nation? Uh, you, 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 no, no, Mr. Habib, the reason I ask this is because the, the response is we are not changing the facts. We are removing the negative connotation. So, what is that? so you what know, is that? Which, which is what we need to understand. So, for example, they're not changing the fact that Nathuram Godse is the one who killed Mahatma Gandhi. They've removed Brahmin from Pune. So, so, what, what, so what, 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 what is the impact of that? And why is that a concern is what I want to understand. If you remove Brahman from Pune, is he going to become a Shudra? How is it going to change the facts? No. You remove him from NCRT books, but, but historical records will remain what they are. And he will remain what he is. So that is for me, that is not important. Important is you, you provide huge respect to a to an assassinator now you you uh, create a, a respectable position for him uh, within within the teaching program 
so that is something uh, which is uh, which is which is there which you can see however you deny that but uh, that is there for all to everybody to see gandhi how do you look at this today when uh, and of course the points that mr irfan habib are talking about this is we're talking in the context of changes to a ncert textbook but he's talking about glorifying uh, the person who assassinated the father of the nation do you think this is going to have an impact on future generations yeah, definitely and i i don't believe that these are stand alone uh, incidents that are happening this is a part of a larger game plan the, the effort is to keep a weak and ill informed foundation so that in the future on that basis of the ignorance that has been created they will be able to indoctrinate the lies that they perpetuate every day through all their other uh, mediums they'll make those lies more acceptable more believable because the basis of information correct information right information has been removed so if you look at it you might say oh just one sentence from a history textbook what difference where does it make just one sentence from a political science uh, textbook what difference does it make but then when you look at the larger campaign of lies that goes on and the systematic discrediting of established history that they have indulged in by branding established history as being biased and one sided and uh, uh, you know not truthful all this we must look at it with the with the, the cumulative effect of all this and how their strategy of misinformation is being promoted and propagated and how they are using various uh, you know tools to indulge in this this is the larger picture that we must uh, look at it you know you will say what difference does it make that they've removed the sentence brahmin from pune but the fact is that all the accused in the gandhi murder trial who stood trial in the gandhi murder were brahmins from pune it's an undeniable historical fact that is uh, mentioned in the charge sheet itself so what is wrong in mentioning that history is based on facts some facts may be inconvenient but that is history i want to uh, quote some of the responses that have come from um, you know the other side of the political divide uh, which say that the congress was the biggest manipulator of india's historical facts mm -hmm. and the bjp is only correcting the wrong doings of the past now mr tushar gandhi in the middle of this political divide do you think that the legacy of the mahatma can actually be impacted and you know the saying that history is written by the victors is that what we are seeing right now history is not written by the victors history is made by strife the loser contributes as much to history as the victor does the victor writes a glorified fable of his or her achievements and uh, the bjp is very shrewd in the sang parivar i'm not in this i'm not signaling out the bjp because this is orchestrated by the sang parivar and the sang parivar is the campaigner of lies and the larger game is being played by the sang parivar so the sang parivar has conveniently always blamed the congress for everything but they should remember that their political wing the bjp came into power promising not to do what the congress had been doing and in the last 8 years we have only seen that they keep blaming the congress for everything and following what they always used to criticize the congress for so isn't that a betrayal of indian people shouldn't the indian people be concerned about that that they you know in that case what was wrong with the congress if the bjp is going to continue saying that we are going to we are only doing what the congress was doing then you know we were better off for 70 years with the congress mr irfan habib uh, you know yes. the, the the response that the congress is the one who modified history uh, and manipulated history the bjp is writing a wrong from the past what is the kind of impact that has on the consciousness and the understanding of a nation of its own history i actually this is something uh, this is uh, this is a 
falsehood which is being spread for uh, for the last several years for several decades rather even before the uh, these people came to power even before that there was a charge being leveled that congress has manipulated history along with the left the point is when congress and the left were doing this sort of history what were you doing who stopped you to write history of your own why didn't you write history of the rss and its role in freedom struggle who stopped you if there was any role at all you see the point is you have done nothing yourself because there is nothing nothing to write about you know you have no scholars who have any rigor you know i have always said that scholars right wing scholars like arsi majumdar like yaduna sarkar they were all right wing scholars who who were criticized by the left but they were respected by the left for their rigor for their scholarship they were not propagandists uh, they were not writing history based on whatsapp or they were not writing history which will support their political program today history is not actually the issue issue is the present you want history which suits your pr present political profile or present pol political future so you want to redo history you want to understand history in the context of what you want to earn through that change in your present political uh, program so history is actually at the receiving end historical facts are at the re receiving end are at a discount because these facts don't matter because you create history every day through whatsapp i i i will, I will repeat one question which i asked earlier yeah. in the program mr habib and because, just because i think it's important as we close this conversation how much of an impact is a line or two or para or two being deleted from an ncert textbook how much of an impact is is it going to make in this day and age when the younger generation is not necessarily getting most of their information from these textbooks is that where the real fight is actually this is i don't believe that there is only a matter of one or two sentences it's not it's not it's not true there are whole sections which have been deleted not only about uh, gandhi there are lots of things mm. which have been done and uh, that is uh, that is a huge uh, chunk of uh, our, our past which has been taken out like there is nothing about non aligned movement no there is nothing about cold war there is a, a huge section of uh, mughal india which has been taken out now when and i have said it somewhere else yesterday that when you take out mughal history or you reduce mughal history to a skeletal presence then what will happen to all those who are part of the mughal court what would have happened to tutarmal what will happen to birbal what will happen to man singh they were all navratnas of akbar then how how will you teach shivaji and his bravery when aurangzeb is not there how will you teach marana pratap and his uh, chivalry and bravery in haldighati now when akbar is not there so the point is you have to see history as connected history history cannot be taught in bits and pieces things you like you will continue otherwise other things will just go now that way you are creating a history which is based on 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 your sanitization so called which has nothing to do with the historical facts so this is something which is going to harm our uh, our uh, history teaching in in a larger perspective and so, so it's not just a matter of uh, brahman being word being re removed and all that of course that that's just one trivial. that's just one of the many that examples trivial, you know? now the yeah. ncert chairman uh, says that there is a process and a procedure behind this and uh, the uh, act of not listing this particular deletion was an oversight but of course there's much more to the story thank you so much mr irfan habib and mr tushar gandhi for speaking with us today. thank you thank you